Welcome to Florida in the rain. Ugh. My experience living here, it, um, it's pretty rare for it to rain at this time of the year. I'm used to it raining, obviously, but I'm not used to cold rain. It's about 50 degrees out. We got a little bit of uh, Midwestern feels here today in Florida, but welcome back to your Daily Dose. We're headed to Disney Springs today. I haven't been there in a hot second, and I actually got a reservation yesterday at a um, restaurant I've never dined at. So we're gonna be dining there for the very first time in this glorious weather that we have here today and tomorrow and the next day. The next couple days are rainy here at Disney. I have a sweatshirt on, this is so weird, but I felt so good putting it on because I feel like I'm back home in Wisconsin. Today's vlog is gonna be a little bit difficult because it is pouring out, so I might be switching back and forth from my big camera to my small camera, but we haven't been to Springs in a while. They should have some Christmas decorations up, but we're mainly here to dine somewhere where I've never dined before. We're gonna be eating at Morimoto Asia. Did I say that right? I think I said that right. Cool! Um, Fun fact about me though is I actually don't like ramen, so it's gonna be really interesting to see what they have. And I'm coming really hungry, so I'm gonna get a bit of a good review. Never been here, but I hear good things. So that's why we're going here. It's been so long that I forgot that security is on the second floor, not the third floor. And uh, to reiterate, they're not really known for ramen, but they have a lot of ramen on the menu, so we'll just see when we get there. And we're gonna do some shopping real quick. Confirmed, Christmas is at Springs, but I'm actually a little bit disappointed. I'll tell you in a second as we go to these trees because I really like what they used to do at Disney Springs, but they're doing what they did after COVID or when they reopened. But it's beautiful, we have Christmas here, but we have rain. So a lot of you guys might not remember this because I really didn't vlog this way in the past, but Disney Springs used to do a whole Christmas decked out little section with their Christmas trees, but now they spread them all on out through Disney Springs. But I really, really liked on how they had the Christmas trees in one little section because it used to be like all out Christmas, like really, really cool. But now they've placed the trees and displaced them everywhere. I don't know, go, go ahead and comment down below. What do you guys like? To see the Christmas trees throughout Disney Springs? Or would you guys like a whole like decked out section? I think they just don't have space over there anymore and that's why they don't do it. But it's kind of cool to like, oh, this is a cocoa one. It's kind of cool to see like a lot of Christmas trees as you go throughout Springs. But I just like that dedicated section where it was like very, very Christmas. They don't do that anymore. So what do you guys like? A lot of Christmas trees spread throughout Disney Springs? Or do you like like, 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 like a decked out section? Kind of similar to the Osborne lights that they had at Hollywood Studios. We'll probably come back and check these out sometime like at night. Not really checking them out today, just to know that they're here, because I didn't know they're here. Strange World. That's a preview we saw the other day that I don't know if I'm gonna like. It was really strange. I think an argument to not a dedicated area with the trees is that, you know, you don't have to like be surrounded by a lot of people and, and like bottlenecked. So it's kind of nice that it's all spread out, but I really liked how they had that because it would snow there's like Christmas music. Again, like the Osborne lights, but it's not like that anymore. But regardless, let's go uh, Let's go do some shopping here. It's in the Springs, we're here. Let's go to WAD, the world of Disney, baby. Springs is pretty empty. This is Sunday, everybody. 55 degrees out, rainy. I would love to see what the parks look like, but as you can see, there's some garland wrapped around these light posts. It's Christmas, ooh, look at this. We got four ornaments. It looks like three. I almost said balls, but they're definitely ornaments. Holidays at Disney Springs. Not today because it's not quite the holiday. It's more like a Wisconsin day. YMCA, huh? I haven't heard that since. What do we have here? Are these penguins? Is this Club Penguin? I don't know why they're here, but they're here. Hello, guys. We kind of have weather like you guys need in Antarctica. It's here now in Florida. 
We're going to the, uh, the World of Disney to uh, look at the Christmas displays and get some Christmas merch, by the way. That's kind of what we're doing. You know, we're doing it. And I'm just talking. Ooh, look at the garland. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I just want to take you home. I want this so bad. Guys, I love Christmas. Look at the little nutcrackers. They're bolted down, otherwise I might have been intrigued to just take ya and go to World of Disney and pay for ya. <laughs> Here's where we're gonna be dining at Morimoto Asia. Never been here. Ever, 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 ever. And they have some nice Christmas garland right there. I'm pretty sure, hi. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we could go right now because definitely not crowded. Definitely not crowded, this is a rare day. Gotta love it though, oof. Crazy. I always feel like when you have a universal umbrella at Disney, it's kind of a sin. It's like when you go to Universal, you can't wear a Disney shirt. You know? Same applies here. How dare them have a universal umbrella? Shake my head. You guys see that? It's Christmas. Yeah. It's cold. By the way, I'm not here alone. We have a friend. Would you look at this? We've got some cute peanuts here. But they're not just peanuts, they're dogs. They're reindeer dogs. Ruff ruff. Hi ho Dario. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it's a nightmare before Christmas tree. Mu ha 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 ha. I actually want to watch that movie. Rain, shine, or snow, or hurricane, or rain and cold, the Lego store is always gonna have a line. It's kind of crazy. It's longer than Gideon's today. These people and their Legos. I never got into Legos, but I love Legos. But it's always so long. What is going on? Heaven Carnations, we have another universal umbrella. What is going on? All right, well, here we are at the World of Disney. I love how they do it here in all serious, not, uh, in all serious tone now. Um, they always decorate it. It's so lovely. Let's go buy something. Oh, wow. They're actually dedicating a... Well, everyone's not utilizing it. They just opened that door and said, let us in, even though it literally says World of Disney entrance. This way. So we will follow the rules and go this way. Because we are rule followers. Oh, my word. Merry, Merry Christmas, everyone. It's warm in here, first of all, but look at this. I'm telling y'all, it hits different. It hits different. Let's go see what we can find real quick. Well, we found where everyone is inside the world of Disney. Everybody left the parks and came here. There's so many people here. I'm gonna try to look for some Christmas stuff that I haven't seen inside the parks. This is a hard find. I only found that, I think, at Animal Kingdom? I don't remember where I was when I found that, but this is kind of cute. Yo, the display yeah, is so cool. They always, they, the, the displays are always the thing that I want to buy. Like, I want to buy this and put this outside of my house that I do not currently have. Wait, what the heck? They are selling one of these things? I gotta get this. This actually isn't that much. $59.99. This isn't even what I was talking about. Holy cow. I want it. We're gonna get it. But I was talking about this and that. Like, imagine that in front of your house. But now we have this. I don't think I've ever seen Disney sell anything like this. This is a really, really cool find. You think it would be $100. It's 60. I like it. I'm gonna get it. Kind of overpriced, but you know, we're shopping at Disney. Super cool guys. I mean for $60 it should be a little bit bigger, but it's kind of a cool keepsake, so They have a projector on the ground. It's kind of hard to see because a million people keep walking by. I Love how they always do this though. Now I could mobile check out however Not really feeling it. Ooh, I've never seen those. They do have those necklaces a lot of them. Looks like the same every year. But yeah, I think it's more fun to uh, just go through the cash rep when we have this kind of purchase. Gonna do a little scan here. 
so you guys get a little of the Disney Springs Christmas vibe inside the store. Cashier number four. Cashier number two, please. Or that. Now I was a little bit worried about the one that was on display, but they already had them behind the register and we get one that's never been opened before, so hopefully it doesn't have anything like paint chips or anything, but it's in a box, so it should be good. I kind of expected to shop a little bit longer, but I found one thing that I really wanted, so we'll come back and do like a shopping haul, but I'm gonna go to the car and put this away because I don't really want to take this to, to lunch which is in about 20 minutes. And on our way back, how could I forget the Christmas tree? The only one we haven't seen is Animal Kingdom. I don't even know if it's up yet, but we do have the ones at the hotels, Animal Kingdom Lodge, and my personal favorite, the Wilderness Lodge. Real quick, I did find the Disney Plus tree, and it's actually a little bit different from last year. They had DVDs or like Blu-rays on it. Now they have ornaments with the movies correlating to whatever it is, so like Santa Claus, it's cool they changed that up. I don't know if they've changed everyone up, but that I know is different. Frozen tree. Got good news, the rain stopped. It's just still chilly out, which is actually kind of nice. I have like this new energy today. I don't know if it's because I'm have some Midwest weather here. I don't know, I'm just really happy to be vlogging today. Not that I'm not happy every day, it's just like I got this extra pep in my step. But anyways, we're here, first time. Let's go uh, indulge in this menu. Sort of kind of odd because there's no sign by the entrance. And this is the entrance. Well, it's over there, but you know, usually they have them above. I've never been inside here actually ever before either. I do know there's like two stories to this restaurant and it's really not packed at all. They actually kind of just took us. You might even have to check in. I just walked on up. Springs is not packed at all, but here's actually a quick look at this restaurant. There's a bar over here. You can just come and grab. I never knew that. And I lost where my cedar was taking us. It's beautiful though. Yeah, first thought, there, it's actually like huge the ceilings are incredible and they have they have these cool things draping from the ceiling not really loud kind of like mid we'll see how the service is but i'm really more excited about the food because i've heard nothing but good real quick i'm gonna show you guys their weekend lunch menu i think we're gonna get like a few appetizers and i like i said i'm going to get some ramen even though i'm not like a fan of ramen but i haven't had anything to eat today so this is gonna see if i've just had crappy ramen in the past or if I just don't like ramen. Real quick, I did wanna show you guys the open kitchen style that they have here. There's a little glass actually separating us from them, but it's an open kitchen style. Pretty rad. It's a beautiful place. Don't know why it's taking me so long. Look at how they presented or silverware. I mean, I'm still not really good on with chopsticks, but Maybe one of these days. I do have a little tool, but I left that at home. I don't know why, because I knew I was eating here. But I really love forks. Oh my God, this looks actually to die for. So we've got our egg rolls with pork, but look at these lettuce wraps. Like this is like crazy. It looks like someone's like, I don't know. It looks like hair in a way. No, it doesn't look like hair. It just like, I don't even know. This thing is huge. It's like two big bowls, look at that. It's a bowl. It's obviously um, iceberg lettuce, but you know, put that stuff inside. I don't know why I said it looked like air. Maybe I was thinking that stuff, but I don't know. I'm just really happy to be eating, guys. I'm so hungry. I love egg rolls, like they are to die for. This is pork inside. A plus plus. I think I'm gonna love this place. Just don't know about the ramen. I'm really excited about the apps, just not about the ramen. This sauce, it's so good. Wow, that sweet and sour sauce is amazing. Time to grab some uh, pork in my, oh my God. Oh, look at that. Beep. I feel like I'm shoveling snow. I don't know why I said that, but I do. It's kind of weird. These lettuce wraps are a little bit too gigantic. Would like to see that a little bit smaller. 
But uh, let's give it a bite. Mm. Wow. It's delicious. It's really juicy and flavorful. It's honestly really good. If I had to pick, guys, it's a tough call. I would probably do the lettuce wraps because it is so darn juicy. It is, like, absolutely amazing. You don't even need to eat it with a lettuce, but it's just... Ugh, I can't even. I literally can't even. Our spicy ramen has arrived, and our apps, absolutely fire. They're bomb. But I don't know why I look at ramen, and I just, like, go bleh. So, we're going to push through my uh, not wanting to eat this and give it give it a taste so without further ado let's let's get this i guess i uh, I, I just despise ramen guys looks excellent like that looks great it's just like the soup i can't get by soup i think it's just because i get sick so much and soupy stuff reminds me of being sick because that's all you when i'm sick that was good it's just this that trips me up the, the ramen. It's not bad. It's like perfect for today though, because it's so cold out. I'm gonna have a few bites and then get back to you guys on on how I feel about it, but it's not as bad as I remember. It's just something I'm not gonna actively go seek out or order ever. It's really good actually. I'm very surprised at how good this is. Like, it's got a lot of flavor. I like the stuff put in it. I'm not really, like, a fan of the noodles, but maybe I like ramen now. It's just not going to be the first thing I order, I'll tell you that. If I see a steak on the menu, steak. In Roundup here, I feel like this is, like, the perfect thing that we could have gotten today with how cold it is outside. And I learned that I don't really despise ramen anymore. This was so spicy that I kind of stopped, like, actually tasting what it tasted like. I'm still working on it, but I feel like the apps were definitely my favorite if I had to pick, but this is still pretty good. Cleared out really quick, but um, we'll come back. It's just like not on my list to do it right away. So with that, everybody, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I'm proud of myself for finally going to eat there, not being a ramen lover. I'll give that a, a six out of 10. I just don't really like ramen, but those apps get a 10 out of 10. They're absolutely delicious. They do have a bar in there, so maybe we'll do like a bar crawl around Disney Springs. We haven't done that in a while, but I do have a staycation coming up in about two days. So tomorrow we'll have a vlog and then we have another surprise staycation. So with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And that was it for your daily dose.